Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about what I think are the top three viewers for your AutoCAD drawings or your AutoCAD models. Now, having a separate software or program to review your drawings can be very important, especially as you get into larger and heavier projects, um, if you are working with a team of designers, and also if you need to share files between various stakeholders. Stick around to the end because I'll be sharing with you which one I think is the top pick, well, at least for me. <laughs> if you care about that, then stick around to the end of the video. So without further ado, let's jump on the other side of this B-roll, shall we? Before we get into my top three picks, if this is your first time on this channel, thank you for stopping by. At any point during this video, feel free to pause and hit that subscribe button to support the channel. If you actually learned something, I would like for you to give this video a thumbs up and give it a little extra boost. Uh, that's one of the ways to make this video be seen by others who actually want to learn more about AutoCAD, all right? <laughs> Respect. Now, Autodesk has provided a number of viewers that users, you know, like you and I, can use to preview our drawings, our models and projects, etc. These viewers can be used to do a lot of things. I will slap that on the screen for you. In addition to that, some of these viewers can also be used to present your client with something that they can look at or even to give them a virtual tour of the project. As we dig into these, I will not be doing a full tutorial in this video. If you want me to do a deeper dive into any of these products, let me know in the comments below. Uh, this video is just an overview. Cool. Also, a link will be provided in the description to where you can find all the products I talk about in this video. And remember guys, they are all free to download. No money, no charge, no nothing. It's free. Okay guys, so in no particular order, we are going to start with the DWG True View. Now, with this one, you do not need an Autodesk account to download it. You don't need to log into anything. Of course, you have to install it. Speaking of that, this only works on PC. It doesn't work with Mac. This program works with both DWGs and DXF files, which are files that you can pretty much export from any Autodesk program. So, you know, AutoCAD, Revit, Inventor, Civil 3D, you name them all you can export those files to work with this viewer here. And so for those of you who are familiar with AutoCAD, this screen looks very similar. I think it is made on the AutoCAD platform, but they stripped it down significantly. It is just here to open a drawing and look at it. That's all it does. So if I go over to a drawing that I have here, of course, you have model space and you have paper space, just like in AutoCAD, uh, but you cannot do anything. You literally cannot select anything. This is just to view it. Is everything good? Everything look okay? All right. Let's take a measurement to see if, uh, if, if, if I like what I see here. I can take measurement. And of course, we have a command line, just as in AutoCAD. We can view the distance that we just measured things like that. You cannot even type commands in here. That's because there's no command to type. So this is just to open up a drawing and to look at it. You can also look at your layouts and so on and so forth. Uh, one of the cool features about this program is that you can use it to convert newer DWGs to an older version or an earlier version, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so for instance, you may receive a file from someone that is in a later version than what you have on your PC. So you can use this program to uh, roll back uh, the versions from, you know, whatever you have all the way back to 2004 or 2000s, I'm pretty sure none of you is that far behind. Uh, but yeah, this can be used to do that. As it relates to AutoCAD architecture, I don't think you are able to roll back 3D elements from AutoCAD architecture into an older version. Um, I've never tried it with this, but based on what I have read, I don't think that's possible. But if you're doing regular 2D drawings, uh, like what I have in this one here, which this was way back when I used to draw with just 2D lines mainly, 
And so I'm pretty sure I can roll these back to as old as possible. That's just a FYI. All right. So that's a cool feature that I like about this. What are my final thoughts on this one? I would personally use this viewer only for 2D drawings. As a matter of fact, that's what I use it for. I would not use the DWG viewer to look at 3D files because it sucks. Uh, if I go back to model space here and I turn this into a 3D view, of course, we can see the 3D view here, uh, but you cannot orbit. You can't select anything. You, I mean, I don't even know why they give us this feature here um, because you pretty much can't do anything with this. So I would just recommend that you use the 2D feature of this program. And I use it quite a bit because sometimes I need to view something else, maybe a detail or uh, you know, some other drawing that I did in the past and I want to look at how I did that thing and I want to try it on here. I don't need to open up a barrage of tabs in my AutoCAD because that will significantly affect your performance with AutoCAD. All right. So I love this for that purpose. Okay. So the second program that we're looking at is called Navisworks Freedom. Now there is actually a paid version to this software called Navisworks Manage which is much more powerful and able to do a lot more than Navisworks Freedom. Um, after all, this is a free program, so we can't expect them to give us everything in here. Um, it is significantly stripped down, uh, but guess what? It does all that I needed to do, which is to pretty much open up my 3D models, to take a closer look at it, to fly through, pretty much take measurements. Um, if I see something that is out of place, I can go back into my AutoCAD and I can make those changes, re-export DWF file and reopen it here and take a look at it. Now this program again, it doesn't require an Autodesk account and it only works on Windows again. So, you know, it's not looking too pretty for the Mac guys. It also accepts DWF files and NWD files. Now, NWD files are what you can export from the paid version of this program. This program is just to open it up and look at it. You can't save with this. If you notice, we're not seeing a floppy disk up here. So my final thoughts on Navisworks Freedom are, I would personally use this only for 3D model viewing. It gives you great control when navigating or flying through the model. Uh, you can check for clashes and errors in a 3D environment versus what AutoCAD has to offer. It is much faster and quicker. Uh, you can cut sections through the building using this program, you know, to take a closer look inside. You can also take very accurate measurements using this. So those are my final thoughts and I enjoy using this program. All right, so let's jump into the third uh, one that I have for you. And this one is called Autodesk Viewer. This is a web-based application, as you can see here, I'm using it within a browser. It does require you to log in to an Autodesk account in order to use it. And guys, it is free to set up your Autodesk account. There's no charge. So go ahead and create one and utilize this uh, application because I think it is phenomenal. Uh, the, the amazing thing about this application is that it is able to open over 80 different file types. So pretty much any uh, drawing type that you have, uh, this application should be able to open it up. Uh, it can be used to view both 2D and 3D models. And so this is what the home screen looks like. You can uh, look at files that you own. You can look at files that was shared with you. As you can see, I don't have anything here as yet, but I can add something. So I'm going to upload a new file and it does give us the option to drag and drop or to select a specific file or to upload a folder. Um, but in this case, we're going to just select one file uh, using this button here. And I have this little project that I did. All right. So this is that project that I was telling you about. Um, and so, of course, if you look over here, we are able to look at our drawing in 2D or a 3D view. Um, so let's orbit around here. As you can see, this is what that looked like. Um, this is an incomplete work. I was just doing a little thing. Uh, we can click on different elements such as the slab here. I can hide and uh, so on and so forth. 
we can also view any sheets or layouts that was created within this drawing. And so, of course, I had one layout here and, and another one here as well. Um, let's go back to the 3D view because this one is pretty cool. Uh, we do have a number of tools down here that includes, uh, you know, orbit, zoom, first person. So if I click on this, we can pretty much uh, walk or fly through this model uh, using these navigation tools. I like this one very much, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, this one contains some 2D elements as well as some 3D elements. And so, yeah, this is what that looks like. Um, we can also take measurement using this tool um, we can take sections as well um, we can explode this model which is one of the ones that you guys have been asking me about for quite a minute and uh, and yeah so the explode option this is how it works and it explodes everything for you let me hide this thing here hide that and of course i did not animate anything it just does it and i like it and so you guys should uh explore and mess around with that you can also make markups with this guy so i can circle something on here i can save it i can add comments over here and and the cool thing about this one is that i can share these files with someone else my final thoughts on this one i think this option is perfect if your computer uh, does not have the capacity to have another software this will take all the effort of uh, navigating your model from your pc to autodesk servers and so you don't have to worry about performance this will open up the heaviest of models and run as smooth as possible i don't know how they do it but it works um, I also think the Autodesk Viewer is great when you need to present your project to your client. Uh, you can share screen. Uh, you can send a link to your client. So here's the button to share that link. And they can look at it from their end. I like the fact that you can add comments, you can make markups, and you can save those in here. And you can pretty much have a dialogue between yourself, your client, and other stakeholders right here on this screen. I also like the fact that it opens up pretty much any drawings, uh, not limited to AutoCAD. I do not think it is the best option for everyday modeling. So for instance, if I am working in AutoCAD and I need to continuously look at a drawing, you know, let's say every time I add an element, I want to see what it looks like. Doing it in here can be cumbersome. However, I do think if you're working from an Autodesk construction cloud or drive so for instance i do have an autodesk drive uh, which is connected to my pc so if i open up a new folder here i do have a drive that is connected to the cloud and so i can save my drawings in here and they would show up in the cloud and so i can come in here and i can open a drawing so for instance this one here oh here we go perfect So as you can see, it uh, it opens it up f straight from my cloud. So as you can see, these files match with what I have here. Once I open this up on my PC, I save it. It automatically syncs with the web and I can just open it up here and look at it. Now, if you're doing it with this workflow, then I think it's possible that you can have this on another screen to look at your stuff and it refreshes every time you can just refresh the page and it would update uh, but other than that though i think it would be at a disadvantage if you don't have a cloud service attached to your drawings okay so there's one other program that i think is a honorable mention and that would be the autodesk design review as you can see i have it open up here again it's free you don't need an Autodesk account for this one either. It does have the ability to open and fly through a 3D model, which is pretty cool. We do have a similar thing to Navis Works Freedom selection tree that we can select specific elements. Um, but where I think this program shines is 
its 2D features. So as you can see, if you remember this drawing from the previous viewer, you're able to open up a DWF file here and you can make comments on your layouts. So for instance, as you can see here, I added a comment here and I go to my next layout and I can add additional comments on here using the markups tools and I can take measurements, I can add stamps, stuff like that. And the cool thing about this one is that I can export these markups and import them back into AutoCAD. An example of that would be here I have that file open up in AutoCAD here. And uh, this is the layout that we have. And we do have the markup set manager here. So what I would do is to go to open and I would find that file, which is this guy here. And I would say, open it up, read only. I think this is because I have it open up over here already, but I'm gonna say yes. And so it brought those three comments in. Uh, we can drop these down to see what the comments were and we can actually see them in AutoCAD. All we have to do is to right click on here and say open markup and you would see the markup directly on your paper space in AutoCAD. Uh, we can go to the other layout and we can do the same thing here, open markup and we can see that the markups have been added. Uh, we can change their statuses to done for review question and you can save this down to another uh, file or you can just save it to the current file and you can have a sort of a workflow between the designer and the guys who are doing the QC you know checking the drawings to make sure that everything is okay nothing is missing that kind of stuff so I do think this is an honorable mention for that purpose so the big question is which one is my favorite one or which one is my number one pick? To be honest with you, that is a difficult question because I use them all. <laughs> I do use all of these programs uh, for various reasons. I think they all have something that I need. I wish they could all just cram them all into one and then just, you know, just give me one whole package. Uh, but I'm sure that's something I would have to pay for. However, it, I, th I think it comes down to which one I use the most. And I would say that is the Novice Works Freedom because I save a lot of my projects on my PC. I like to export and look at my drawings in a 3D environment. I like to rotate around or orbit. I like to go close up click on things, you know, check to see that the measurements and the, the things are aligning how I want them to. And so I think I use this one a lot more than the others. But as I said before, there are times when I do use True View Design Review and I'll also use Autodesk Viewer if I need to share something with someone else or if I need to create one of those cool animations that y'all been seeing and liking. Um, and so, yeah, I, I do use them all, but I think this one is my favorite one are the one that I use the most. Let me know which one would be your favorite pick and which one do you use the most if you have already been using any. And uh, yeah, let's, let's have a talk. If you have questions, drop them in the comment section. And if you are looking to download any of these, I have already dropped the links below. There's no attachment to those links. Um, but yeah, I just want to help you guys to better your workflow and to make things a little bit easier for you as you work on your projects and so on and so forth. You get me, I say? Shout out to the patrons on my Patreon page. Thank you all for the support. And also to the channel members, big up on yourself. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button and turn on your notifications. And yeah, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cool?